This coin's a 1988 bicentennial coin. Got the tall ship on there. So $3 to $12.50 is a recent selling price range on these. So yeah, 1988. Uh, how many were minted? 9 million mintage on my coin list. Coin list. The March coin list have just dropped. They're available right now. So if you're interested in knowing the recent selling prices of coins, yeah, my coin list through the links. Um, yeah. Here we go. Let's see if we've got anything like that bicentenary coin that we can hold on to. These 1979s can have a double bar feature behind the emu's head. Not seeing it there, unfortunately. But if you do find one of those, between $2 and $48.50 is a recent selling price range on the double bar. 50 cent coins from 979. The 997s are a bit of a lower mintage date as well. So $1.20 to $21.50. How many we minted of those? We've got 4.3 million of those minted. Seventy four is a bit of a lower mintage date, so a dollar thirty to twenty nine dollars each, nine million mintage. The windmill design's a bit of a interesting design that people like. A dollar fifty to thirteen dollars fifty. A few coins in this roll, it's cool. It's another seventy four there, not in awesome condition, which is understandable for the age of the coin. It's another 979. So where you're looking for that double bar feature, you're looking behind the emu's head through here. There's usually two little lines that can come in at the emu's head. And unfortunately that one doesn't have it. Oh, here we go, an Aetsus coin, 2014. That's pretty cool, it's been a while since I've seen one of these. Um, $2 to $19, 4 million of these coins were produced. So, sorry, 3 million of these coins were produced, only three. So that's really cool. 2016. Last coin here, 2015. Oh, what's my favorite from that roll there? Maybe the Aetsus coin. It's been a while since I've seen one of these. That's awesome. Cool.